Hey guys and welcome to Slash Rex Games. Today I'm going to be showing you how to drag objects around using the mouse. It's pretty simple. You just click something, you drag it, you release, and it stops. Very cool if you've got an RPG, you want to drag things around your inventory, or maybe you've got some kind of game that has to manipulate items using the mouse uh, with the click and drag kind of support. This is pretty much what you'll need. So, let's jump straight into the code and I'll show you exactly how simple it is to do this. So here we have an empty project. I've got some sprites, we've got a black potion, we've got a love potion, we've got a mana potion, we've got a health potion. So we've got four potions, and basically we just can use the mouse to drag this around. So I'm going to create one object here. I'm going to call it uh, Object Draggable. And it's not going to have a sprite. What I'm going to do is, on the create of this object, I'm going to let the program choose a sprite, one of those uh, four. So we're going to add an event, create, drag in some code. And to start this off, I'm going to say randomize because I want to seed the randomizer with a random seed whenever one of these object variables are created so that whenever we play this demonstration again it'll always have a different spread of potions for us to drag around. So now we say sprite index, there we go, equals choose and we're gonna put in all these sprite names. Let me just extend this to the left. Black potion, what was the next one? Love potion. Ooh. Mana and lastly, health push. Close it off. All right, so that's the first part. So now we jump into the actual code that is going to be handling the drag. So firstly, we need a variable that allows us to determine if the object, if this object is being dragged or not. So we're gonna call it grab. And when we start, it's not being grabbed, just like that. Then we're gonna create two variables, one called xx and yy. Each is gonna be initialized to zero. We're gonna be using these um, to calculate the relative position between the object and the mouse um, and then we can have a step event that kind of moves it around. It's going to be really, really cool. So here we've got our grab, setting it false, and we're initializing these two variables for later. Then we're going to add another event, mouse, and it's going to be a left pressed event. Add in some code. Now when we click it, it's going to be grabbing, so grab equals true. Then, because I've got a whole lot of objects, I want the item grab to kind of move above all the other ones when we drag it, so that it doesn't move underneath it, because that's pretty lame. So here I'm going to say depth equals minus 1, because all the depths are going to be set as 0. So if the depth equals minus 1, then it means it's going to be above all the other ones, just like that. Then we're going to get our relative click position. Okay, and basically to do that, we're going to get xx and yy. Remember those two variables we initialized in the create. And they are just going to be the current x position of this object minus the mouse x and mouse y. Over here, y minus mouse y. So it's just the difference between the x of the draggable object and the mouse x and the y and, you know, well, this is supposed to be minus, and the mouse y. Pretty simple. Once that's done, we can go into the left released. So when we release it, it must, it must know that it's no longer being dragged. So left released. We're going to get in some code. It's now no longer being grabbed. So that's false. And our depth, we're going to set back to zero. So it's uh, on the same depth as everything else. Except that. So now that we've done that, we are initializing our x, x, and y, y. We are also initializing that grab variable to false. There it is right there. Then when we press it, grab is true. And we're getting our relative positions then when we release, grab is false. Okay, so now, using all that information, we can add a step event. So, you know, 30 times a second, it's gonna be saying, can I move with the mouse? Yes or no, well, I can if I'm being grabbed, I cannot if I'm not. Grab some code here. We're gonna say if grab equals false. So if we're not being grabbed, if this draggable is not being grabbed, then we can exit. We're gonna exit the step event. So it's gonna keep doing that, grab equals false, it's gonna do nothing. Otherwise, so if it is being grabbed, then we're going to say x equals, so we're going to take our mouse x, and we're going to add that double x, which was that variable that we figured out in the left pressed, right over there. We're going to copy this, paste it over here, and we're just going to change these to y, and y, and yy, just like that. Simple. That is actually done. That's it. There's no other special witchcraft and wizardry going on here. It's as simple as that. So we're creating our variables. We are setting grab to false. It's not being grabbed on start. We're getting our xx and our yy, initializing those both to zero in our create. Then we're heading over to the left press. When we click it, it is being grabbed. Its depth is above everything else. It's got a negative number. Remember, everything else is zero. So this is going to minus one. That's right at the top. Then we're getting our relative click position, the difference between the 
x and y position of this object draggable and the mouse's x and y. We're storing those in that x, x, and y, y variable. Then, once that's done, we get checking out our left released, and it says if we release the click, then obviously we're not being grabbed. Our depth is going to be reset to default, which is zero. Then our step is going to be checking, while this is all happening, it's going to be saying, well, if I am uh, grabbed, then I'm going to be updating my x and y. Otherwise, I'm just going to exit. I'm going to exit this loop. I'm not going to be doing this step again. I'm going to be skipping it. Skip, 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 skip until it is being grabbed. Just like that. So we say, OK, OK, go to our room, object game world right over here. Make sure we've got our, our draggable. Now it's not going to have a sprite. Let's put these in here. Just put in about six of them, right like that. Say OK, save the project, and run. So there we go. We've got some potions. We've got mana. We've got the black potion. We've got the love potion. We've got the health potion. And we can drag them all around. Check that out. Cool, huh? And if we drag one over the other, boom, it's on top. Check that out. See? It's always on top. And this one, on top. Because we don't want it going underneath. It just looks so much cooler when the object we are dragging is right at attention. It's in front of our eyes at all times. We know where we're putting it. And if we let go, there you go. See? It stops. It's no longer being dragged. So it's very simple. A few lines of code and you can pretty much drag anything that you can touch with your mouse. Interesting. Very, very, very cool. So, I hope you found this tutorial educational and helpful. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. I do look forward to all your suggestions and feedback. So just leave them in the comment section right down there. Or you can start a channel discussion if there's something you want to speak about in general, about this tutorial or any of the other tutorials. If you've got any ideas, hit me up on that, send me a message, whatever. Let me know. If you're feeling generous, you can buy me a beer sometime. You can find all the links to things I've used in this tutorial, so the project file, right in the description. Give that a download, fiddle around with it, copy-paste code. It'll be a lot simpler than having to type this out as I go along. But, I mean, it's a really simple concept to behold. So until next time, happy coding, and I'll see you guys next time for another great gaming tutorial.